it's Jen again, and today we are making Carmelitas from the King Family Cookbook. Comes from the kitchen of Lorette. I think the last thing we did was from Lorette. We've never had these, but they look good. It looks like a cookie bar with caramel sauce and chocolate chips. So we're gonna start. Um, this makes three dozen in a jelly roll pan. We're gonna cut that in half, because um, it says you can. So, um, it normally calls for two cups butter. I have one cup butter in here and then normally three cups flour, we're gonna put one and a half in. So, let's get our crust started. There's one. And a half. And we'll get that sort of creamed together while we get the rest of our ingredients. There we go. One tablespoon. Did you finish? <laughs> One tablespoon salt, so I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon in here. I always manage to throw flour all over the place. There's that. And then three cups quick cook, quick cook oats. I'll get that in here and then we'll be right back. So guess what I did? I got halfway through my halved recipe and started putting in the full amounts of everything. So we went back and put the full amounts of everything. So we are making three dozen Carmelitas. Yeah, I made a mess. Two cups butter, three cups flour, one tablespoon salt, two and a quarter cups brown sugar, three cups quick cook oats, I still need to put in the two tablespoons baking soda. Once we have the two tablespoons baking soda in here, that's everything for the crust. We're gonna pat it down in this bar pan and go from there. Okay, so what we did was we took three quarters of the dough, and put it in the bottom. I was having trouble getting it to cover everything, so what I did, because I wanted to make sure there was enough left over to sprinkle on top, I took a rolling pin and just rolled everything this way so I was able to cover it and coat it nice and evenly. Maybe if this had made it into the recipe, you would have had enough. Maybe you should stop being so mean to me. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven uh, at 350 for eight to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna bring it out, cover it with caramel sauce and chocolate chips, sprinkle some more of the dough on it and stick it back in. There we go. Okay, our crust is done. It's cooled for 10 minutes. We're gonna pour caramel sauce all over it. Oh yeah, that looks terrible. No one is gonna wanna eat that. Oh yeah. <laughs> looks amazing. So we pour our caramel sauce over it. I'm going to use a spatula to sort of smooth it out. Just make sure we get it all over. And then we're going to sprinkle chocolate chips. You sure that's not a Monet? Yeah, so I'm, like. I am great at landscapes, scapes. I make cookie dough look like irises. How's that? Fix that little side there, thank you, yes. Okay, so now we're going to sprinkle chocolate chips all over it. Looks like barbecue sauce. It kind of does. Calls for regular size chocolate chips. We didn't have any, so we're using just the little ones. Anna, does it remind you of the lady on America's Got Talent that did all the drawing with the sands and the beads? Yeah. Guess not, okay. Yeah. Someone actually did that as their talent? Uh, it was really quite beautiful. I've seen someone do it with lint. On their belly button? Like dryer right? lint, yeah. They collected all of their belly button lint. And this is Wisconsin, right? Land of art. a thousand lakes. Look at it. I think we're good on the chocolate. And then we take the rest of our dough. What's this over here? It's chocolate for you. And we sprinkle our, the rest of our dough over the top of it. That looks like a Carmelita. No, this is, this is the landscape part here. This is going to look like a Death Valley sand dune. By the time I am done. I saw a special today on Trona. I couldn't believe it. You're kidding me. 
Nobody knows where Trona is but us. Okay. We're gonna have an awful lot of dessert. Okay, these go back in the oven at 350 for another 10 to 12 minutes and then we're good to go. I'm a little messy so I'm gonna go wash and stick these in. Carmelitas, do they look amazing? They just came out. They're so hot that if any of us even attempt to taste it, we will have third degree burns. Um, so we're gonna have to wait, but that looks good. Does it not? Looks amazing. And? How many times can I say amazing? And can you imagine what the bottom of the stove looks like with that? Dad? Oh, stalactites, no, yeah, stalactites. So we have company and everyone's been sitting here patiently waiting for dessert. So we didn't wait for them to cool. It's literally just like cookie mush that we've scooped into a bowl and thrown some ice cream on. Um, the people that have tried it say it's really good. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I'm gonna take this bowl over to someone else and I'll get my own little bowl in a second. Okay, here we go. Here's the taste test. What do you think, Chatty? Oh, it's pretty good. It's not super sweet. There's a little bit of a saltiness to it. Um, we're eating it like a mushy cookie, just covered in vanilla ice cream. But it's got a good flavor. We made a ton of it. It's really, anyone else, what do you guys think? Throwing it in? Very good. You liked it, Dad? Yeah, I do. It's pretty good. All right, we give it a it's almost a salted caramel type. It is a salt, perfect. Which I'm is, glad you which said is that. in right now. It's a kind of a salted caramel, oatmeal-y cookie. Delicious. Especially like it with ice cream. With ice cream. Thanks, Lorette. <laughs>